Hi, my name is Mia and this is our puppy Leaf and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can already tell by the title, today I'm going to talk about the cost of owning our little Leaf for the past six months and I figured it'd be a an interesting video because I guess you could argue that the first six months of a puppy's life are actually some of the most expensive ones in like of an entire dog's life um, because you have to pay for all the vaccines you have to get all of his um, supplies and all of that stuff um, right in the beginning um, of course that is granted that your dog doesn't have like any like chronic illness or need surgeries regularly because that can of course add up quickly um, so yeah, <laughs> but yeah, in this video, I'll just walk you through the different categories, um, on, and what we have spent in each one on Leaf so far. Now, I did make a little puppy haul video where I show you all of the little items that we got to get ready for Leaf. Um, so if you're interested in a more in-depth video, of like all the toys, all the exact items that we bought, like hygiene and his crate and all of that stuff, then check out the link in the description because I have that video linked for you there. Um, but yeah, why am I making this video? <laughs> of course, first of all, to just like educate, I guess, to give you an idea of what it might cost to um, have a puppy. And that is simply because I am very passionate about um, people being aware of the responsibility that comes with having a dog. Um, you have to invest a lot of time and effort into exercising them properly, training them properly. You obviously have to show them lots of care and love, but also all of that comes with a price tag. Um, if you want to do your dog justice, then you cannot get around spending yeah, a lot of money <laughs> on this dog. So. Yeah, just be aware that all that comes with having a puppy and don't just make the choice to get a pet lightly. Anyways, I have rambled on enough. I figured I'd go straight into the first category. But one last thing, I did do some kind of calculations of the exact amount that we have spent in each of those categories and then a total at the end. But I've also um, taken the time to look through um, yeah, the absolute necessities, things that you cannot avoid getting for a dog um, versus like the extras that we might have gotten. And anyways, I put all of the necessities um, together as well. So yeah, I am very much aware that not everybody buys everything for a dog that we got. So I figured I'd give you an idea of just the basics as well. Um, but yeah. And another disclaimer real quick, of course, take everything I say with a grain of salt because this is just what we spend on our puppy. It'll obviously vary greatly depending on what kind of dog you have and where you live because especially veterinary services are very differently priced in different countries. So yeah, <laughs> sorry the intro was so long. Let's jump right into the first category, which is food. Now. I will name the price, the total of what we spent on food right here, $254.50. Now what does that entail? That entails his um, kibble, his dental sticks, um, his treats, that also includes his food and water bowl. We bought him a little rumble, like a food toy. And um, that also includes little stasher bags that we use to transport food when we go places with him so we can bring a bit of food and treats for him. So as I said, the total for us was $254.50, but as you might have noticed by now, we got a few extra things that might not be super necessary. So if you only get the basics for your dog, you will still look at spending just around $135 on the food category within six months. Okay, moving on to hygiene. Now this one's a big one because hygiene includes everything from shampoo, toothpaste, toothbrush for your dog, a brush in general. It'll include poop bags, pee pads for potty training in the beginning, um, 
it'll yeah entail nail clippers sunscreen if you live in a sunny place and so on and so forth um so that's a very very big category for us that category came out to a total of 237 dollars and 50 cents but once again if you really only get gonna get the necessities then it'll still cost you right around 121 dollars Okay, now the next category is a bit more fun. It's all about toys, and let me tell you, toys end up quickly. Of course, um, dogs can keep themselves entertained too. If you live on a farm um, or near a forest, they will be happy with a stick, so you don't necessarily need to spend any money on toys, but we spent $81.50. We got him a ball. We got him a little coffee wood stick for when he was teething. We got him a robe toy, some other toys, and um, even a stuffed animal that he loves to snuggle with. So yeah, all of that, as I said, adds up quickly to $81.50. Okay, the next category is kind of like a mix just of necessities um, that I feel like you need when you get a dog. So that'll be his harness, his collar. Uh, we got him an air tag as well. Um, so we don't lose this little guy because he's very fast and gets very distracted easily. Um, that'll also be his little dog bed and his crate. And we personally spent $360 on that category, but if, you, if you're only gonna go with the basics so you skip on an air tag, maybe you only get a harness or a collar so you leave one of those out, then I think you're still gonna end up somewhere around $285 but of course that'll totally depend on what kind of harness, what kind of collar you got. We made sure to get high quality things that will last for a long time so that is why that category is quite expensive for us. Alright now the next category is probably the most interesting one and also the most expensive one which is all about veterinary services. As I mentioned in the beginning, puppies need to get a lot of vaccines, a lot of their puppy shots, they need to get microchipped, all that stuff. And um, this one I have again broken down into what we spent and also what, yeah, just the basic necessities are what those will cost. Now, for us, we paid for a first little checkup just to make sure he's okay. We've been paying for flea treatment as that is quite a big concern here in southern Spain. We have obviously gotten his puppy shots, his microchip, his rabies shots, um, but we have also voluntarily gotten his um, kennel cough shot and this other one that I'm not going to pronounce um, because I can't, but it's right here on the screen for you guys. Um, that one again is very specific to this area, um, but it's very important and also very expensive. And lastly, Leaf was a bit sick for a while. He had some stomach issues, so we had to get his stool and pee analyzed. We had to get him some extra fiber and some special gastrointestinal food um, to make sure he gets well soon. Um, so for us, all of that ended up costing $604. Once again, keep in mind that was just our experience, our dog happened to get sick, but also keep in mind that we do live in southern Spain where veterinary services are extremely cheap compared to a lot of other countries. Especially if you compare it to the US, you can pretty much double, triple or even quadruple some of these numbers. But if you only want to get the puppy shots and if you... Um, if your dog doesn't get sick, if you don't get all the extra vaccines and all of that stuff, then it will still cost you around $205 here in southern Spain, once again in America or in other European countries, probably I multiply that by three. All right, and then lastly, we were gone for a little bit, so we had some friends that took care of our little leaf. And yeah, that costs us $80 on pet sitting. Once again, that's very individual to us because we happen to leave within the first six months of his life. But if you don't require any pet sitting services, then of course you will not have that kind of cost. 
All right, and now to the grand total <laughs> of what we spend in just six months of Leaf's life. All right, we spend $1,617.50 in just six months. And that comes out to just around $270 per month, every month of his life so far. But once again, if you don't get all the things that we got, then you can pretty much cut that number in half. You will end up somewhere around $746, which will be just about $125 a month. And you might have noticed that I did not include the cost of a dog. Um, I figured that wouldn't be necessary in this video as that will obviously vary greatly depending on what kind of dog you get, whether you get it from a shelter and you only pay the adoption fee, or whether you get them from a breeder and then, you know, it costs X amount of money, like I said, will greatly vary depending on the dog. But yeah, I hope this video gave you a good first impression of what you're looking at financially. Um, maybe this will help you budget for your dog and give you a more realistic yeah, impression of how much it actually costs to get a puppy. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, then please leave me a like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing day. Until next time, bye.